Uh, I'll, I'll do a quick, quick rundown. You kind of introduce yourself with what our key is to each game is. Um, the game in Ghana, I think, is probably our key. Well, I think the biggest issue, I think, is going to be kind of talk to the uh, almost to so much, but um, I think beyond it's to talk about what, the, what our back four is going to be. Um, and I yeah. think it's going to be important. I think Ghana's kind of a counter-attack team uh, that they use a lot of their pace and they, they change quickly from defense to offense. So making sure that we're disciplined and our team shape is really important as well as making sure there's no bad turnovers. I, we had a couple of them against uh, against Azerbaijan, I believe, and then we there was one where I think Bezler, like I, was, I hate when guys not show on, especially on defense, he just not show on outside of the foot of the, to the middle of the field and went right to an Azerbaijan player at the top of the box and shot and thankfully, I don't think it, was, it, was a, it wasn't that big of a threat because Howard's back right there and the Azerbaijan guy, no offense to him probably, there's a score from there, but if that's a Cristiano Ronaldo right. or uh or, or Mueller, or any of those guys, kind of guys. Those guys are big time. And, um, they might turn that into a goal off a simple turnover. And then I believe it was, I believe it was Stevie and Johnson, uh, 21, and Stevie Johnson from the channel. It's one of the players who gave up that turnover that ended up causing the handball penalty kick against Turkey. It's nonchalant, playing around with the ball in his own third. I mean, it's just, Dumb turnovers yeah. are really a key, big key. Um, I mean, we got two big, strong, athletic guys, probably two of the more athletic guys in the whole World Cup, Demski and, and Alcador. So if I'm on defense when I'm in the USA, I'm literally, I'm just, I'm hitting it up, I'm, I'm launching it up there if I'm in doubt at all. It's where the ball's going, and I'm trying to just let, let that, let the, uh, one of those guys go get it. I think the other big thing, I really think the offense is a lot better this year uh, than it was our last World Cup. I think we had a lot more dynamic players. I think the diamond formation is yeah. going to be our best friend in the worst enemy at times. And like I said, with Pete Shape, uh, can Jermaine Jones be disappointed and can, can, can Bradley really provide in that role, kind of supplying forward. Um, he definitely had a world class pass to Fabian Johnson. So, with that said, I think the biggest thing is controlling the counterattack, especially against Ghana and, and uh, Portugal, and then just cutting down on turnovers. And then the U.S. can, if we can get a goal off a corner kick or a, a free kick or maybe uh, something like that, we're going to have to end up executing on those. It definitely seems like that's been a success in these warm up games. So, those are not what I'm thinking is we got a little plan. Yeah, I. I, I agree with that. Um, the defense for us, as I see, I mean, it's not—I don't want to say hit or miss. Um, it's, but it, there, it does have its moments where it kind of, like you said, just kind of really gets almost too relaxed and makes something bad happen. Um, what, one of the, the greater accomplishments that I think needs to be noted is the fact that Beasler and uh, Gonzalez, you know. Uh, Gonzalez out of the Galaxy, Beasler from uh, Sporting Kansas City, uh, now named the captain, by the way, for this year, so I think there's a lot of confidence with him. Um, those guys just kind of th- were thrown together, really, in the qualifying um, to start, you know, to play the two center backs, uh, but they've managed to do a fantastic job, really, um, and, and really start to work well to play together with each other. Um, I think those two, the, the fact that, you know, for not playing together until just thrown into it in, in, in the hex, uh, maybe a few other um, qualifying games before that, they've done really well. Um, I think both of them, I, th- I think, are, are really good defenders, and I think they can. They have a lot of potential to play, uh, not just in this World Cup, but World Cups to come. I do agree with you. Sometimes they have their moments where they, they like you said, they kind of get too relaxed or they, or they miss something. Um, you know. It, the problem is when a goal scored, uh, you know, with with the defense being the last line of mistake, your last line uh, defense, you, you make a mistake and it very well can result in the goal, and then everyone looks at that. Um, but 
uh, you know, you, you talked about because of that. I know Gonzalez, when we had that friendly against Mexico, we're up 2 0. Gonzalez just totally missed his, his mark on a man. And I mean, that, that, I forget who it was that scored, but he was wide open. Uh, a free header for him. Um, I think he and Dark said uh, on, on the broadcast, you could drive a, a truck through there. Um, things like that. Could really hurt us, especially with you know. I there is no doubt in my mind if Claus has got a free header, he's putting in the back in the net. Um, oh no, no. Yeah, I mean it's the same thing with Ghana and Portugal. Even you know that's the one thing that would really upset me in a sense is the fact that if we somehow shut down Ronaldo that game or he's not playing well, but we lose the game because we had a moment where we just did not. You know, we just got too relaxed or something and did not play to our potential. And then um, someone else got a free header and put it in the back of that. We lost because someone else, you know, <laughs> not even Ronaldo. Like, no, Ronaldo doesn't even score a goal, but we still lost the match because, uh, you know, Morales or someone just outdid us in one moment, which is usually how soccer works, obviously. But that's, you know, that's obviously the situation there. The good news is that we got Tim Howard and goal. Um, and especially in that Ukraine game when the defense was just basically hanging him out the dry, he still made a save on the second or on the first and second attempt. Um, so that is the good news is that Tim Howard can play out of his mind and get some big time saves, and, and that would be the hope that if we have that that moment where we we screw up, Howard can possibly save us. Um, but yeah, it's good. it's a tough group, but you know I'm excited for the challenge. You know, in in a, in a World Cup, it's not like you're gonna get. Um, all of the of the uh, you know Canada's and and Trinidad and Tobago's and, and everyone that you, you beat in the early rounds of qualifying. That's not what the World Cup is. The World Cup is playing against Germany, Portugal, Ghana. It's exciting that we got a, we get a chance to to see how we measure up against the the second and third ranked team um, in in the world. You know, so I, I I'm excited for this challenge. Uh, regardless if we go home early or if we surprise some people and get out of the group, I'm excited. I think it's definitely just to get redemption, too. You know, there are three teams and countries that we've had some both, within the last, I think, three World Cups. We've had a run in with good, good, a little good, and mostly bad. So hopefully, revenge. I'm going to get to my predictions. I think, I just think Germany is too deep and too experienced. All from smaller players playing big time games. It's just the, the, the whole team is so, so, so deep. And they've been there before, and they've seen what they get it done. And, I, I really, I, I think it's going to be one of those situations where we'll, the USA is going to get out second. I think we're going to get like four points or five points. I think it's going to be one of those things where it might be going goal difference. I, I really don't think we're going to show it out. I want to say, I, like I said earlier, our offense is, is better, but I think our defense will seem like it's a little more a little shakier. So I think, I, 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 predict, I don't think we're going to hold anybody scoreless in this group. I think we're going to have to win 2-1 or 3-2 or win our tie 2-2. So I think there be a lot of goals in this group. And I think the USA gets out in second. All right. I like that. Um, y- you know, and, and I... <sighs> It's it's tough for me to say because, like I said, it's very tough for me to decide between Portugal and USA. Um, I would love the USA to get out and especially going to win this. Um, but I, you know, just the the thing is too is this is a fairly young squad. I mean, obviously we have um, Dempsey and and, and Altador and Bradley and Howard, but. Uh, a lot of those other guys that are on that roster are, are fairly young, playing in, in their first World Cup. So that's kind of an interesting thing too to see. Um, so I, for the moment, I'm a new dynamic though. It is. I mean, it's a new dynamic. Um, you know, I the guys, the guys you mentioned like Wondolowski and I mean even Zuzi and Davis and Bezler. Um, I granted the Premier League. I don't know if it's the Premier League. These guys are late 20s, early 30s, and it's the first World Cup. They do have experience, so we'll see how that most translates. That's true. Um, y- you know what? I, I might. I, I know. I think. I believe. I said I had Germany and Portugal earlier, but you know what? I, you've kind of convinced me about those young guns. Maybe those guys will step up uh, or really oh, showcase man. something. I'll go Germany win the group, and I'll go the USA getting second. Um, with actually some help from Ghana, um, I, I don't. I still don't think I could see the USA necessarily beating Germany. I think that's going to be a huge task. 
Um, but with the way you can have things set up beforehand, if Ghana can draw Portugal or beat them, um, the USA with a draw against uh, Portugal in the first place and a win against Ghana, that would be enough to send the USA through on four points. Uh, that's very, very possible. All right, well, that might be a bit of a homer pick. <laughs> we'll take Germany and uh, the USA. Let's talk about Group H in just a moment. 